So first one, we look at this open-ended question for your P3 slash P4 topics. I know that many of you maybe have done well in your exams, but you have to know that whatever they expect from you at P4 for your P3 topics is different from what they expect from P3. Clear? So even if, this, even if it's the same question, the contents that they expect from your answers is different. Okay? So make sure you know. Let's take a look at this first question. Which topic is this from? Materials can be strong, the strength of materials, flexibility, testing for waterproof, not waterproof. A lot of things can test for materials, huh? but materials is the topic itself. So what is the writing structure for materials, the topic of materials? Okay, let me show you. Materials itself, you have to talk about the properties of the material. Number one, they can test for flexibility, they can test for strength. Okay, they can test for whether it is waterproof or not. You have to know for material, right? They like to use this, uh, they like to link it to other things. Okay, which is when you waterproof, they have to test for whether it is uh, allows light to pass through. All these things they like they like to link it to your materials or even heat energy. Let me link it. So, what is the phrase that you always use for materials? Is that the just a, let me just put object. Object made of material, whatever they, they label. Material something. Then you just continue. So this is the phrase that's always used for all the material questions. I'll teach you how to use it later on. You can see all these happening. Okay? So for material, they love, they love to link it to other topics. It's a very common question that, like the, that loves to link it to other topics. Flexibility is different from strength. Huh? So what's the difference between the two? Okay, so basically both will also break. Okay? So you are trying to test the threshold of each of the material based on the strength and flexibility. So, it's a, so um, the difference is that for strength is the ability to hold objects okay, before breaking. And that's for strength. Then for flexibility, for flexibility is to is the ability to bend before breaking. It can bend well depend on how flexible the object is before it starts to break. Okay? So that's the difference. One is bend, one is hold the heavy objects. So place the materials into a container filled with water. This one is testing for what? Oh. Ability to float or sink. Or the buoyancy of the material. If you say mass, it's not really because you cannot determine the mass based on whether it can float or sink. If I were to compare, if I give you a coconut, right? Coconut can float, or not? can right? Coconut can, but coconut very heavy, leh. We carry it, so you cannot base on the mass does not determine if it can float or it can sink. Okay, can. So is that which are, which, are, which are buoyant materials A, B, C, D is most suitable? for making the anchor. So we have to use the phrase already, yeah? this one. The object made of material, blah, 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 is the phrase for material questions. So material C, what's the difference between material C and material B and material D and material A? Tell me the difference between what you can see from the diagram, okay? Material C sank the deepest, you can see that, right, into the water. Then, explain. Explain what the anchor, the anchor, use the phrase. Ah. So I say the anchor made of material C. See, I use the phrase made. made of material C. Okay. What happened? What's the purpose of anchor? Purpose must be there for materials. Ah. Purpose of choosing material C for the anchor. Of course, you are, you are comparing with the other materials, so you hold down. The best, right? Most firm. Tell me that. You are comparing. So you must have the comparison term of most firmly onto the ground. Okay, so again, you're trying to prevent the boat from floating away until the whole end. So the anchor made of material C, the deepest, compare, uh, deepest onto the C bit. Here we got Kelly prepared to set up which, which question, which topic is this from? Diversity of 
Characteristics of living things. What are the characteristics of living things? Name the characteristics based on the observation. Just choose whatever you need to put it inside. So at 2 o'clock, organism X is here. At 2.05, organism X disappears. So where did organism X go? Name the characteristic. Okay, where did organism X go? It went into the darkness at R. So the reason why you cannot say uh, they move by themselves is because this one it's not testing for movement. This one is testing for whether it will respond to changes. Because the surrounding changes, that's why they change. That's why they move. So, and the answer is, living things respond to changes to their surroundings. Okay. Six. A week later, Kelly found all oh the organisms as were dead. Oh, now it's a week later, all die already. Explain why. Look carefully, yeah. there's something that's special in this whole paragraph of the whole long story. You go and see, and then you tell me what is the clue that tells you why the organism acts like. See glass container. Ah, very good. This is the clue. So what happens to the sealed glass container? Yeah, so they used up all the air in the glass and did not have enough air. Here, the air is used for what? Huh? Why do we need air to survive? Why do human beings need air to survive? Why do animals need air to survive? Okay, oxygen. You need oxygen to survive. Huh? But oxygen, why do you need oxygen to survive? What does it give you? Does it give you air only? Right? Energy. Energy. Very good. So what's the whole process called? Respiration. Yes. Good. Make sure you know this. Okay, release energy. And of course, your carbon dioxide. But you don't need carbon dioxide, of course. You just want the energy. For your cells to function. Every part of you is made of cells. Okay, you got skin cells, you got hair cells, you got brain cells, you got heart cells, you got everything. Toenail cells. All these are your cells, okay? So, you need the cells the energy to carry out its function. Without these cells, nothing will happen. Same thing for the plants. Without energy, the roots cannot carry out its function to absorb water, mineral salts. The plants cannot photosynthesize. Everything can happen. Okay? So you need to, for cells to carry out its function. 